now i'm going to go move on to how to prepare for dilr uh, start dilr maybe a month after you you got basic comfortably overall comfortable with percentages profit and loss and all of that when you're doing dilr get the basics of di basics of lr out of the way find out just uh, pie chart line graph bar graph column graph all those simple frameworks right and then in lr tournament questions and arrangement puzzles and sequencing puzzles and match the following puzzles and uh, visualization puzzles get those out of the way right then go for variety once you've got the basics in place which about should take about 7 to 8 hours then go for variety the name of the game for dilr is variety consolidating templates is not important it's not crucial getting your mind trained to pick the 11th and 14th and 103rd template that is crucial so don't keep doing the same things over and over again for dilr train your mind to be able to pick up new things when you're when you're when you're practicing that is very crucial so get the first basics out of the way really quickly and then jump and have a have a crack at the the slightly tougher bits in dilr there are about 48 sets of actual quad questions available on the internet all 48 sets have detailed video solutions on our question bank on youtube channel i think about two or three are remaining which will get done by by this friday or certainly and so if you want a lovely starting point hit 10 of those and you'll know exactly what is the level of difficulty for cat then you can prepare and then come back and hit another 10 after a month and then come back after a month for the the last 25 so keep that as the best toolkit available with you to know what the benchmark is what is the level of difficulty for cat right so for dilr variety is important do about 7 to 8 hours of basics start on dilr after you've got comfortable with basic quant and once you have done this 7 to 8 hours of basics go for variety how do you get a benchmark of what variety is go through actual cat questions 2017 18 19 48 of those are there it might be interesting to hold on to some of these for later on so do you know what the benchmark is you might even want to take a few of the actual cat papers as real mocks so keep that in mind when you're preparing but getting a 10 dilr puzzle hit gives you a sense of what to do very clearly